broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my ChadDeckard.com podcast show. My shows will cover how online and offline marketing and communications can grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and travel and adventure. Thank you for tuning into my show as we begin to explore this adventure together with many great things to come. Now, let's get down to business on today's show. This is my first show in 2013, and the way I plan on structuring my shows moving forward is around this pivotal show, since it's being the first one. So what I'm really going to try to do here is explore many great areas that I have found and broken down within this show that need to be explored or revisited by many entrepreneurs in today's economic times. And so today's appropriate, uh, I would say, topic that I'm going to be covering is 10 ways to make your marketing more effective in tough economic times. Well... To get the most out of your marketing dollars is by marketing strategically. It has been said that in tough economic times, most companies choke. Instead of finding ways to innovate and create dynamic growth and change, most companies stick to what they have been doing even if it's not working. Most people build a business based upon the knowledge of the product or service that the company offers. Yet the business owners who become the most successful are the ones who learn the skills necessary to market their product or service better and more strategically. When I ask business owners what they want their marketing to accomplish, they often answer, I want it to get the phone to ring or I want it to get more leads to my salespeople. These are answers are pretty typical. So when I ask them strategic questions like, would you like your marketing to reach your ideal qualified prospect? Would you like to be seen as a uniquely different than your competition? Would you like them to trust you? Would you want them to respect you? Would you like them to think of you as the expert in your industry? Would you like the price not to be the only factor? How about influence? How about brand loyalty? How about an urgency to buy? The answer almost always is, well, of course, and that would be great. So how about you? Is your marketing tactical or strategic? How much have you innovated lately? Here are 10 innovative ways you can make your marketing more strategic and effective with limited resources, time, or money. Number one, find your ideal prospect. To find your ideal prospect, look at whom you are currently doing most of your profitable business with. The ones that like, trust, and refer you, figure out what is about it is about them that is unique and why they do the business with you. Narrow your marketing to focus on getting more of these types of clients. Number two, what makes your business different than your competition? Figure out what your ideal client longs for and needs. Then do that like no other else ever thought they could and tell the world all about it. So, number three is develop a core message that addresses your ideal prospect's need. Recreate your marketing materials, including your ads and websites, so they speak only of your core message. Material that educates and informs your target market how your product or service will benefit them. Number four, use the ADA formula in your sales letters and direct response material. Get the reader's attention. A great headline is often effective. Deepen the reader's interest. Stories. Increase the reader's desire. How would it benefit the prospect? Motivate the reader to action. Special offer. I also have an article all about ADA in depth from this number four. If you go back to my site, cdeckard.com. That's C-D-E-C-K-A-R-D.com. And type in, type in A-I-D-A in the search and it will find the appropriate article that I'm referring to. Number five, total internet presence. Now more than ever, you need total internet presence other than just a website, 
such as blogs, social media, podcasts, online PR, and videos. A strong online marketing approach that educates and provides information is a primary component needed in your overall marketing strategy. Number six, referral marketing. Develop a referral marketing system that automatically turns ideal clients and referral networks into a marketing powerhouse. This is of the easiest, most effective, and least costly marketing methods to set up. It is amazing how few businesses have one. Number seven, connect with the media. No one can position you as an expert more than the media. Write educational and informational business articles for local business papers, magazines, blogs, and online. Number eight, create a sales system. Develop a sales system that accomplishes all of these potential strategic objectives every time anyone in your company is in front of a buyer. A system that turns prospects into clients and raving fans. Number nine, schedule your marketing. Live by a calendar. Be patient. Change takes time. Develop and schedule one or two marketing activities a month. Give the learning curve time to work and to achieve the results that you are looking for. Number 10. Set the stage so that your employees know what is happening and why. Let everyone in your organization know the reason for change. Change works best when it's a collaborative and interactive process. Share as much as you can with your staff about your finances, the problems your organization is facing, and what's likely to happen if you are doing nothing. My question to you to end this program would be, tell me, are you taking the time to reevaluate all these 10 innovative ways that you can make your marketing more strategic and effective? And those are, once again, number one, find your ideal prospect. Number two, what makes your business different than your competition. Number three, develop a core message that addresses your ideal prospect's need. Number four, use the ADA, A-I-D-A formula in your sales letters and direct response material. Number five, total internet presence. Six, referral marketing. Seven, connect with the media. Eight, create a sales system. 9. Schedule your marketing and 10. Set the stage so your employees know what is happening and why. If you are weak in any of these areas, you should take the time to obviously reevaluate your strategy and find some more effective ways and resources that can help you strengthen any weaknesses that you have in any of those 10 ways that uh, I mentioned throughout this program. If you have your need any help in doing so, please feel free to give me a call and I'd be glad to consult you in helping direct you or helping you myself personally to uh, resolve the problem. So my number that you can reach me at is 561-628-5198. That's Eastern Standard Time. That's 561-628-5198. Or you can go to my website at chad, that's C-H-A-D, Deckard, D-E-C-K-A-R-D dot com. My blog is C. Deckard, that's C-D-E-C-K-A-R-D dot com. All right, well, that's about uh, it. So uh, I really appreciate you tuning in here this week. If you like my show, please consider subscribing to it, which you can do by visiting my website, chaddeckard dot com, or if you are an iTunes or Stitcher Smart Radio listener, take it with you wherever you may go on your uh, mobile device. I invite you to give the rest of the listeners and myself all the feedback that you can contribute or support because you are what makes this show a success. Please click your share and like button for this audio or video version of this show on your social networks like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or your blog. I really appreciate you doing so. Well, that's about it for now for this show. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now.